Welcome to the Gospel of Luke, chapter 12, verses 35 to 38 today as we continue to follow through, listening to the teachings of Jesus. Here's what it said. Let your waist be girded and your lamps burning, and you yourselves be like men who wait for their master when he will return from the wedding, that when he comes and knocks, they may open to him immediately. Blessed are those servants whom the master, when he comes, will find watching. Assuredly, I say to you that he will gird himself and have them sit down to eat and will come and serve them. And if he should come in the second watch or come in the third watch and find them so, blessed are those servants. Sounds to me here like, you know, there are some possibilities that some people won't be ready. They're going to lose their pathway. They're going to miss what's going on. They're not going to realize how close the kingdom is. They're not going to realize how close the coming of the master, the return of the master is. And so Jesus gives us, therefore, just such a warning. And again, listen to it. Let your waist be girded and your lamps burning. You know, be ready, be awake, be ready to go. You know, sometimes the power goes out in your house and what? If you got to poke around in the dark to find the candle or to find a flashlight, it's good to be prepared so that when that happens, you can be ready. Jesus is just telling us, be ready, be prepared. Like the, the Boy Scouts used to teach years upon years ago before they were secularized by the government. So let your waist be girded, your lamps burning, and you yourselves be like men who wait for their master. Apparently, a lot of people are not being like people who are waiting for their master. They're more like people who are uh, laying there flopped in the chair and doing nothing. Uh, and yet, we need to be preparing for Jesus to come. When he will return from the wedding, that when he comes and knocks, they may open to him immediately. Uh, returning from the when he finishes what he's doing and he comes here. This is going to be a very important time. Is he going to come and find the church, the, the members of the church, kind of just lounging about, you know, you're, with your bowl, like in the Proverbs, the, your bowl is buried there in the chips, and you, you were so lazy, you wouldn't even lift it back from the chips? Is that what Jesus is going to find his followers? Or does that mean that's person ready to go? So we've got to be ready to go. Blessed are those servants whom the master, when he comes, will find watching. And, and so we want to be ready, be watching, be very, be very wakeful very awake, very alert. And yet, what again do we find? We find many times that the culture is just, it's just coming in like, like a, a ship that's taken, you know, 12 torpedoes along the side and the water's just raging in, racing in. That's the way it's, it seems like in a lot of Christian families. You're just taking on water. You're taking, the culture is just washing in. Your kids, you're, re you're ready to lose your kids to the culture. Strangeness is, and, and they're dancing to the strangeness. Friends, you know, I'm a parent too. I understand. It's it's pretty challenging sometimes. Uh, you know, we need to somehow watch and be awake and help our families and our friends and people around us, help them be awake. Especially when somebody's asleep, we've got to help them wake up and find the truth of God for this time. We need to be like people who are watching and waiting and desiring for our master to return. He's coming soon. He's coming from the wedding and that means he's going to come and he's going to be very ready to go. Are we going to be ready to go? And I have to say that some of us aren't ready. May the Lord help me and help each one listening. May he help us to come up, come up about 18 notches <laughs> in readiness and preparation and alertness. Because you know what? You may wonder, you know, maybe Jesus is 100 years away. I think the second coming, the literal, physical, visible, audible, personal, actual coming of Jesus I don't think it's 100 years away. I can't give you a date, but I think it could be very, very soon. It could be a matter of years or even months, and we just need to be ready when he does come. He is coming back. He's going to intervene, and I think we're behind in those preparations. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we are behind in being watchmen. Help us. Help us in our families. Help us in our place of work and all the things we're doing. Help us to be ready, Lord. Help us to receive the word and be transformed by it. Now, Lord, help us to be ready when Jesus comes. This is our prayer, and we ask in Jesus' name, amen. The Lord Jesus very soon will return, very literally. That's what the Bible teaches. Let's be ready. May his blessings be upon you in all of your preparations. The Master will soon return.